Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be analyzing and breaking down everything new that we've learned officially from Capcom about Resident Evil 8. And oh boy, is there a lot of new interesting, buried, and weird elements that are making their way into this new all upcoming edition of Resident Evil. So let's get into some of the things that you can be looking forward to and also the changes from Resident Evil 7 that have been made for Ethan's new journey. So without any further delay, let's just get straight into this. Now, for the sake of this video, I just want to say I have to use either screenshots or non-Resident Evil 8 footage, as I don't really want to put a lot of work into this video just to get hit by the auto content ID system and the bots to do with the flagging. So we're going to proceed with screenshots anyway. Now, we've all seen the exterior of the castle and the village already. There's been a plethora of screenshots, videos and other media that shows how that's going to look like and how it's going to be. But we finally get to see a lot of the interior of the castle in this trailer and it starts out with a few elements which will go through here. Now first off we can see the main entrance and interior and we did actually get to see this in another trailer so we'll just skip right past this. New to us however is this sacrificial ritual chamber looking as a room. Now if I was in here I really wouldn't feel uncomfortable but the interesting thing here is that engraved into the wall in the form of statues almost in a tapestry style art is a story that's being told and it looks like a war between two factions which is obviously going to be a centralized plot point of Resident Evil 8 if you've been paying attention to the trailers already. We also get to see this new section which is obviously some stairs leading down into a basement. It wouldn't really be a Resident Evil game without a basement anyway and I think this is what leads us into what I will call the prison area as there is quite a lot of jail cells here but you'll also see some kind of feral vampire style creature down here. They can still hold weapons but it seems like they were being locked down here due to the incapability of sentience they lack anymore. It also looks like they're wearing the garb and clothing of some of the female villagers so that is an interesting note to take down on itself and also implicates that the people from the castle have been slowly taking people from the village and infecting them. And also looking at this woman from the previous trailer, this was from the original first trailer for Resident Evil 8, it does look like she has Ethan's baby. And it's kind of a weird fact this and we're not really sure how this happens. However, we can see in the latest trailer that Chris Redfield does actually take Ethan's baby away and we can only assume this is the same baby as it would be kind of weird to have multiple babies and things in a game that this isn't Death Stranding, this is the same baby. So how she manages to get that is unknown. But it also leads us to wonder, why did Chris take Ethan's baby in the first place? Here an enemy blocks our ability to escape out the door, so it not only seems like enemies are going to return to block our escape, but puzzles will also still be in the game. So if anyone was worried it would just be enemies blocking escapes and you just have to gun them down using lead and then progress, you can still feel rest assured that Capcom knows puzzles are definitely important. As you can see again between these two scenes, one of them requires a fight, one of them requires a puzzle. Now I could be wrong on this, but when we see this little dinner table scene, it does seem like the plates that are there are just holding blood or maybe some meat content that's very human-like because it doesn't look like a normal meal. Other than that, there's not really anything to say. It's just another implication of the vampirism that's going on in this game. Now the name for our quite large character here has finally been confirmed as a Lady Dimitrescu. And I might have actually just butchered that pronunciation by the way, but again, Lady 
Dietramescu. It sounds Russian, which could be an implication of something. I could be wrong on that again. I'm sure somebody in the audience has much more information and education on this one. But there is one key striking thing, and that is just how tall she is. I knew she was tall based on what we saw earlier. But we were given some weird perspectives, angles, and obviously Capcom did this on purpose. Because when we truly look at her in all of her glory, she's a fucking giant. Moving on, we get a statue of a woman holding what looks like three children. Or individuals that at least revere or respect or even worship her. And you'll see this in the next scene as well. But this isn't something new. We do have, as we just said, our new named character. Who seems to have three main witches behind her. It could be a reference to that. Or something else entirely. We get to see another reference to vampirism with this coffin here. Which does seem to have some kind of emblem for a puzzle which Ethan requires to unlock into something else, possibly implicating that this is a lock universally used around the area, and this is actually pretty acceptable because in previous Resident Evil games, you'd say get a key, like the blue key, and it would unlock a variety of doors, and then you'd need, say, a red key. And this might be an emblem that unlocks a variety of doors, and that's why it's in the coffin. It's used to unlock the coffin and other areas, and is probably given to lieutenants or high-ranking members of whatever order this is. Now to people who were wondering who this mysterious individual was, because we couldn't discern whether he was an ally, an enemy, and we still can't by the way, but we might have a little bit of an identity towards him. He might be Lady, I'm not pronouncing her Russian names, little brother, because of this little scene here. Let's see what you're really made of. Ethan Winters. <laughs> well, well, Ethan Winters. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Now with these two scenes, it is obviously implicated that the individual we fight before that also does have some level of supernatural abilities is probably the little brother of this character. However, it cannot be confirmed, but I sure hope everybody can feel the implication. Now, what's interesting here is considering the fact of how both of their dialogues work, it does not seem like they are on a mutually assured side with the same goals. It seems like her brother and herself are independent from each other, so how exactly that's going to play out will be quite interesting. But from what I can see, the lady here wants to be an individual that follows leadership, and she has a leader called Miranda at least, and this is also shown because she's following a ceremony apparently, while the brother seems to be a little bit more of an independent rebel that doesn't want to follow nobody's way. Now there are quite a few implications here, and this is going to lead on to the next screenshots. So we have a character named Miranda, and this could be a variety of people. It could be a new character entirely, or it could actually be a throwback to Natalia, which is Alex Wesker in Natalia's body, and she has grown up by this point. But I don't actually think that's the case. I do think Miranda is probably a new independent character. But the interesting part here is that we saw in trailer 1, this entire castle, which the woman proclaims is her own, is at least affiliated with Umbrella in its history. Now there are two implications here. Either Blue Umbrella is still doing something nefarious with this location, or this location was historically used by Blue Umbrella, and some new organization has taken it over. The interesting part here, however, is that Miranda has been mentioned before in trailer 2 where a bunch of people are chanting her name in a type of ritual. A ritual in which this character mentions is apparently very important. So clearly Mother Miranda is extremely important to the plot of this village, castle and vicinity. But we also get another name, Heisenberg, and of course this is quite an odd name, 
especially compared to everybody else's involved, showing an implication there is probably international involvement. And this does sound like it's from a corporation, to be honest, as Heisenberg is used in about a billion movies for an evil guy, always. However, again, how far those connections go, we'll just have to wait to see for more information or the full game for that. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winters. How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. Now, it's mentioned multiple times in the trailer from a few different characters that Ethan Winters is apparently well known now. So either this organization and individuals know about who he is due to the fact of the Dolby incident, his survival, and obviously that would have become international news. We all know how news media corporations will soak up any story and exaggerate it towards the highest lengths just to get some clickbait. I mean, look at my channel, I do it for fuck's sake. So, of course, in the Resident Evil universe, Ethan Winters must be a well-known name. However, there is also the other alternative, which is the fact that Ethan Winters, his child, Mia, etc., all have a special infection. It may have been cured, but there could still be some deposits left in their body. And these individuals could know about that due to their special backgrounds, organizations, information, intel, etc. It is interesting, however, that Ethan Winters is known as a common name now. The other thing is, is this is our new mysterious Martian. So, this guy is going to be helping us, we're going to buy ammunition from him, weapons, etc, etc. And this individual is going to appear at a variety of locations, and it will be very reminiscent of Resident Evil 4's Martian. You'll be able to use him, abuse him probably, and much more. Now, there is more information shown in the trailer, but it's a bit too loose to connect without also adapting the other trailers as well. And this is just a one video analysis on this current trailer. So I will be uploading content covering the other stuff and connecting it to the other trailers as well. So if you did find this video interesting, you'll definitely like those. They'll cover more content, they'll be more elaborate, we'll start making some theories up, and it'll be quite exciting compared to what we just got here. So again, if you did like that, please leave a like, a subscribe so you can keep up to date with that, hit the bell notification button so that you can also keep up to date with my latest videos, and I just hope your grandma watched this video, and if she didn't, it's always terrible when people don't include their grandma in the latest Resident Evil and other horror games. It's definitely a genre they love even more than us. For now though, I just hope you're having a beautiful day as always. Take it easy, and peace.